Creating a generative NFT project is not easy. There's a reason why not everybody is doing it, and that's because it requires coding, it requires a lot of graphic work, and it requires a smart contract to be able to mint those NFTs on the back end. But I'm going to show you a platform today that actually takes the guesswork out of all these things and makes it incredibly easy to make your own generative NFT collection with just the touch of a button. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So if you've ever tried to make an NFT collection, you, you found that it's probably not the easiest thing to do. Doing one that even isn't generative is actually pretty tough, but when you get into wanting to be able to have a uh, automatically and randomly generated NFT upon mint, it takes it way farther than what most people are comfortable with doing. It requires coding a smart contract to be able to mint it, and then having a script that will go through all of your images and randomly put them together. So it's not the easiest thing to be able to accomplish. And so a lot of people have found themselves kind of looking into this, you know, finding that it is pretty complicated and that you need a developer most likely to be able to do this. Most people just are not comfortable with that level of coding and the experience it takes. So when you look at that, you wonder like, why isn't there a solution out there that kind of does all this stuff for you and it takes the guesswork out of it? And until now, there really hasn't been. But today I'm gonna to show you this uh, cool platform that actually just launched not too long ago, and it's multi-chain that allows you to do this and make generative NFT collections pretty dang easy. So uh, if you guys are interested in that and you wanna know how to do it yourself, this is a great way to get started if you're more of a beginner. But before we get into all that, if you love NFTs, you love gaming, and you love uh, earning money in crypto, like we do here on this channel, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like button if you like what you see. And then jump in our community of stashers on Discord. We'd love to have you there talking about NFTs, gaming, and the metaverse. So when I first saw this project, I was a little bit skeptical because I was like, this doesn't, it seems too good to be true. It seems like it just is, it's, it, I, I, I don't believe it, right? But when I actually saw how it worked, I was, I was, you know, a believer. And I realized like this could actually go far. So this platform is called Launch My NFT. And they have a fully automated NFT generator and you can do it for you know either having a generative type uh, you know collection or one that is just ready to go that you don't need to generate so it allows you to do both styles and you can launch a collection of any size and it is actually really pretty easy you do obviously have to have all the artwork ready to go so it doesn't do the artwork for you clearly that's something that you guys need to have ready but after the artwork is done it, all the other aspects are actually taking uh, the guesswork out of it for you so the great thing about this is you can launch NFTs on Ethereum, on Matic, on Soul. So these are some of the most popular NFT platforms uh, and blockchains uh, to be able to be launching your NFT collection. And they're gonna be coming out with some new, uh, some other ones here pretty soon too on like Avalanche, on Cardano and Luna as well. So those are been coming to the platform so you can do these at a touch of a button as well. So it makes it pretty easy to be able to do this. And uh, you know, when, when you look at like, well, who's involved in this? What's getting all this? Uh, one of the co-founders is actually a really big Danish streamer called Quibblecop. He has a big uh, following of about 14 million subs. And so this guy is a, a co-founder of this and he's done some demos on his channel as well. And I think that, you know, a lot of this just comes from the fact that it is a, a necessary thing that a lot of people want to do, but there's no easy solution for it. So recently they did just launch their, their token, my NFT token, which is an ERC 20 token. And so you can find this on Uniswap, but uh, right now a little bit in price discovery, right? Uh, they launched a token here in the middle of January on the 20th. So I think it's at this point where it's, you know, just kind of trying to find its, its you know, price. And obviously during a time where the entire market is kind of taking a down, uh, downward turn, right? So I think that that's one of the things that, you know, is not the best time to launch a token, but they did it anyways because they were confident in their product. So now might actually be a good time to be looking at picking this token if you want to kind of get some of that back end uh, residual income from, you know, getting a token when it's low. And then when something like this explodes back in the next cycle, uh, it could be pretty big. But the NFT token is essentially going to lower your minting fees on the platform, plus some other things and other utility that are going to be launching here pretty soon. But essentially, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, a membership program. And then also it's going to be the way to unlock, you know, generating, uh, uh, you know, using kind of CPU power to generate some of these bigger collections. 
So when it comes down to this, uh, you know, platform in general, it's actually pretty easy to get started. You guys have seen kind of like what the platform looks like here. But uh, when you are look at actually creating the actual collection, what it takes, it's actually pretty simple. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log in. You, you can log in with your Solana wallet, like Phantom Wallet, which is my favorite, or log in with your MetaMask wallet. We're going to use Solana here, if you can see here in the demonstration. And then you go and hit the Create tab. And this is where you get started. And so right now you can choose either one. You can choose it, whether you already have your images generated, right? You have all the, the images you want to use. And that's if you're not going to use the generator, right? Which is the, the big cool feature here. Uh, but we're going to use the generator where we're loading in all the image pieces and then it's going to generate them randomly for us. So once you get there, uh, you're going to uh, you have your collection name. I'm putting in my stash collection and just as a demo here. And then you get that name filled out and then you go to upload uh, your, your folder on the next screen. Now, it's really important with this upload folder that you get the directory tree structure right. OK, so it has to be uh, created in a certain way. And they actually give you a, an example folder you can download, which is what we're using here. And it just kind of shows you exactly how things need to be situated so you can get it in the right. And if you if, if the folder and the structure is not exactly right in every folder, it's not going to work. So that's something you got to keep in, in mind. Now, once you upload that folder, you're going to get into the generate uh, settings. And these are all the important settings you need to do. So you can see uh, that you can click on preview and what it looks like if you just keep randomly generating based upon the assets and traits you have. Uh, and this kind of gives you a good idea of like, is it, uh, do they look good? Is everything lining up like they should? You should probably know those things at this point, but this gives you a good idea of, of what they look like randomly. Then you can set things like uh, the percentage for each one of your rarities. And that determ is determined by the folders you've uploaded. So, you know, rare, legendary, super rare, things like that. And you can set the different uh, percentages, right? So you want, obviously, the most rare one to be the least percentage. And then you can do things like changing the order of the, the uh, actual attributes and then setting things like mint price, royalty, which is important. So you want to understand how much royalty you're going to be getting off of this collection every time it's resold. That's a pretty important thing. And then obviously the amount of NFTs you want to have for your collection that will be generated. And once you have all these fees and things set, uh, then you'll be able to hit the generate button and it'll go and uh, you know, launch your collection, right? So uh, the collection's launched. And then when people go to the, the page, they'll be able to go and hit the mint button and it'll, it'll automatically, uh, you know, generate, a, 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 you know, an, an NFT based upon all the different settings and they'll be able to mint their NFTs. So it's taken all that guesswork out of it, of doing the generation of them randomly and then minting the actual NFT and giving them the random generated NFT. Usually these are things you have to code a smart contract for. But with this platform, you don't have to do that. And whereas my NFT is a standalone platform, they are going to be kind of like leasing their technology out to other platforms from, from what I know. So you, know, you, you might be able to start seeing this creator in other places on other NFT markets where they want to be able to have this and it's kind of a turnkey software solution and so that's where i think the my nft token could actually come in pretty big if you're going to start using that for you know uh, paying for lower mint fees or to be able to, to do massive collections where you may have to use some some uh you know network power to be able to do that larger than what they're kind of giving you for free here so pretty bullish on this and i think this is something that a lot of people are going to be able to want to use here in the future because there's a lot of people that want to do their nft collections but they're not they're not coders and they can't get you know a, a coder on their team this is an easy way to be able to do it in a whole tokenized package uh, that makes it uh you know stupid simple right for everybody so let me know what you guys think about launch my nft if you think this is a project that's going to go far or if you think that this is just uh you know another way to be able to mass put out nfts that people are not going to care about what do you let me know what you guys actually truly think about this i want to hear your opinion uh because i think it's interesting uh, but i want to hear what you guys have to say so leave those comments below in the description and that's all we have for today folks until next time stash that crypto friends